In this video, we're going to look at some more questions on connected particles. Let's take an example. A car of mass 1000 kilograms is towing a caravan of mass 750 kilograms along a straight horizontal road. The caravan is connected to the car by a tow bar, which is parallel to the direction of motion of the car and the caravan. The tow bar is modeled as a light rod the engine of the car provides a constant driving force of 3,200 newtons. The resistance to the motion of the car and the caravan are modelled as constant forces of magnitude 800 newtons and R newtons respectively. Given that the acceleration of the car and the caravan is 0 0.88 meters per second squared, show that R equals 860 part b says to find the tension in the tow bar so what we do for a question like this is to first of all draw a diagram in mechanics it's so important that you draw a diagram so i'm just going to represent them as particles so what we're going to do is i'm going to draw the caravan here then i'm going to draw the car here and they're connected by a tow bar. Like so. And what we need to do now is to label it and draw our forces. So we can call this the caravan. This is going to be the car. Now we go back to the question and say, right, the car is a thousand kilograms so we've got the weight of the car thousand g i'm just going to write a thousand kg here so you can verify that the caravan has a mass of 750 so let's just draw the weight coming down here 750 g and we've got 750 kilograms don't forget it's in contact with the road so there'll be a normal reaction i'm going to call it n1 and a normal reaction for the car n2 now we need to also put in the driving force from the car now the engine of the car provides a constant driving force of 3200 so let's draw that in on that diagram here's the driving force 3200 now we need to also put in our resistances so they tell us that the resistance to motion for the car is 800 newtons and the caravan is R newtons. So I'm drawing that in pink. So it's opposing motion. This is 800. This is R. So now we've drawn our force diagram. All the forces are there. So now we also need to draw in the acceleration. We always use two arrows like this. And we're saying it's going towards the right, so it's 0 0.88 meters per second squared. Okay, so now we're in a position to resolve. So we want to show that R equals 860. And what we need to show is that there's also tension in the tow bar, like so. But the tension is only going to be taken into consideration if we consider each particle separately. When we consider the whole system, the tensions will cancel out. And that's what we're going to do for the first part. So for the first part, we're going to say F equals MA for the whole system. So we're going to treat it as one massive particle. So we're going to resolve towards the right so we're going to say 3200 minus 800 minus r is equal to the total mass which is going to be 1750 multiplied by the acceleration which we know is 0. 
eight eight and then we can solve that here so we can say three thousand two hundred minus eight hundred minus one thousand seven fifty times zero point eight eight will give me the value for r so we can say three thousand two hundred minus eight hundred minus 1750 times 0 0.88 so I get 860 Newtons now part B says to find the tension in the tow bar it doesn't matter which particle you consider but because from the caravan, the tension is going towards the right, and I'm treating the right as positive. I'm going to consider the caravan. If you want to, you can consider the car, and you'll get the same result. So let's do this. So considering the caravan, I'm taking the right as positive. So if we look at the diagram here for the caravan, we've got a tension involved, so it's going to be T minus R. Now we know what R is. R is 860, so it's T minus 860 equals to the mass times acceleration. Now the mass of the caravan is 750 and the acceleration is 0 0.88. So T equals 860 plus 750 times 0 0.88, like so. And then we can use our calculator to work it out. So we're going to say 860 plus 750 times 0 0.88. And that gives you 1520 newtons. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, you can watch my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So we've got a question here. It says a car is towing a trailer along a straight horizontal road by means of a horizontal tow rope. The mass of the car is 1400 kilograms. The mass of the trailer is 700 kilograms. The car and the trailer are modeled as particles and the tow rope as a light inextensible string. The resistance to motion of the car and the trailer are assumed to be constant and of magnitude 630 newtons and 280 newtons respectively. The driving force on the car due to the engine is 2,380 newtons. Find the acceleration of the car and the tension in the tow rope. So this is similar to the example we just did. So we're going to first start off by drawing a diagram. So we can represent the caravan like so. Let's draw the car here. And let's draw the tow bar from one to the other, and then we can label them. So, so we can now go ahead and label it. So we've got the trailer, got the car. We can write their masses in. So we've got uh, trailer seven hundred and car is fourteen hundred. So seven hundred kilograms, fourteen hundred kilograms. I like to always draw the weight coming down just for consistency in mechanics. We've got a normal reaction, so I'm just going to call it N1, N2. Then we've got a driving force of the car of 2,380 newtons, so let's draw that as well. And then we've got the resistance to motion, which is going to be 630 for the car, 280 for the trailer, respectively. So let's draw them in. I like to do them in pink, so you can see the resistance. 630, then we've got, um, this is 280 newtons.
So now we need to include our acceleration. So it's going towards the right, let's say. And this is what we we required to work out for the first part. And we need to also include our tension in the tow rope. That's our fourth diagram completed. So let's do F equals MA for the whole system. So the tension will be cancelled out here. So we're going to do F equals MA for the whole system. So we're going to say that we're going to get taking the right as positive two three eight zero minus six hundred and thirty minus two eighty equals to two thousand one hundred times a. So we can work that out on our calculator. So two three eight zero minus 280 minus 630 which is 1470 equals to 2100 a and then we can find a by dividing so divide that by 2100 and that gives me 0 0.7 meters per second squared So we found the acceleration. And then for part B says to calculate the tension in the tow rope. So let's just take the trailer. It doesn't matter which you take the car or the trailer, but I'm just gonna use the trailer. Taking the right as positive, and we're going to resolve towards the right. F equals MA. So we've got the tension minus 280. That's the tension minus 280 equals to mass times acceleration. So 700 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. And then we can find the tension by adding them. And then we can just add them here. So 280 plus 700 times 0 0.7 that gives me 770 newtons newtons then the next part of the question states when the car and trailer are moving at 12 meters per second the tow rope breaks assuming that the driving force on the car and the resistances to motion are unchanged for part c find the distance moved by the car in the first four seconds after the tow rope breaks. So when the tow rope breaks, tension is no longer there anymore. So what we need to do is that means that the, acceler the acceleration is now different. So we need to work out the new acceleration for the car when the tow rope breaks. So I'm going to say when the tow rope breaks, I'm sure I say t equals zero, it doesn't exist anymore. So we go to the car on our diagram and we can say, well, it's going to be, the driving force is still there. So it's going to be 2,380 minus 630. So 2,380 minus 630 equals to the mass times acceleration. So the mass here is 1400 times the new acceleration. So 1400 times by the acceleration, and we can work out the new acceleration. So I'm gonna call it new A, if you like. So you've got 2380 minus 630, which gives me 1,750, all divided by 1,400 
So you've got that divided by 1400. That gives me 1.25 meters per second squared. Now the question states, we need to find the distance traveled in the first four seconds when it travels with a velocity of 12 meters per second. So let's do a SUVAT for this. So we can do a SUVAT. So let's do a SUVAT here for the car. The new acceleration is 1.25. It travels with a velocity of 12 meters per second. We're talking about four seconds and we want to find the displacement. So we're going to use S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So S equals to 12 times 4 plus a half times 1.25 times 4 squared. Type that into our calculator. So 48 plus 0 0.5 times 1.25. Uh, times 16 um, that gives me 58 meters then for part D state how you use the modeling assumption that the tow rope is inextensible so we're going to say that the acceleration is the same throughout the whole system the acceleration is the same throughout the whole system, throughout the whole system, i.e. the acceleration is the same for the car and the trailer, is the same for the car and the trailer, for the car and the trailer.